Thank you, Lars Kankor, the Minister. Given that many of these unregulated um, medical devices, I think, were used as early as 2021, have Temple Street Hospital Management given any explanation as to how this happened without their knowledge? Because this couldn't have happened without at least some members of a surgical team being aware of this. So have Temple Street conducted any internal review on this? We have their latest report. It's full of stats, but there's not a word about accountability as to who, what, when, where. Thank you. Uh, Temple Street have commissioned an external review to answer those questions. And our external review with Dr. Nyagam is looking at exactly those questions. But, but my well. question is more about timing. I mean, this happened quite some time back, and for it to happen without members of a surgical team, not, they had to know. They, it couldn't happen in front of their eyes without some people knowing. Maybe management didn't know, but has there been any review as to how this could happen? Are you just saying they're doing it now? Thanks, Deputy. Um, people would have been aware of the use of the springs. It was yeah. based on work done in Ut Utrecht, but uh, until late July, so far as we can see, they were not aware, people were not aware, certainly at a, at a, at a hospital level, that these were not medical grade springs. And that really is one of the ser serious, serious, serious questions. Well, as Deputy Murphy says, there are no medical grade springs for children, but I presume that will come out. My next question is about the HPRA. I mean, they're the notified body, they're in charge of what's happening, and it's up to them to ensure the robustness of the supply chain. Have they started any investigation? Have they reported this breach, for example, to the European Commission? What are they doing? right now and are they updating any of their processes or their procurement processes or are they just standing on one side waiting to see what's going to happen? Thanks Deputy. It's fair to say that the HPRA is very concerned about what has happened here. As far as we can tell the HPRA had no knowledge of this so it's not a lapse on behalf of the HPRA. What they've stated very clearly is that if a surgeon wants to create uh, authorization on something that is not you yeah, know, a mainstream medical they pro didn't. product. The surgeon there, is, there, didn't. Is a, there is a process to do yeah. that, but in this case that was not but done. But my minister, what I'm saying is the process wasn't followed. So in that context, are they going to notify the European Commission? Are they going to look at what happened right now to see that this doesn't happen again? That's their responsibility as the notified body. Thanks, Deputy. I, I, I take your point, though I would say in terms of responsibility, the responsibility for ensuring that medical grade materials and supplies are used lies first and foremost with the medical teams and with the hospitals themselves. The HPRA obviously is the regulator uh, and they will, um, they will intervene as they, as, they deem, as they deem appropriate, but they are, they are very concerned that the processes in this case were clearly not followed.